How you doing today? I hope you're doing well and thank you for joining me again here. So today's story is about a um, caterpillar and it is called Chernka Mala Gosenica and Chernka is the caterpillar's name. <clears throat> this is from June 4th. Gosenica Sem Narava meya obdarila se chernim telesom in zagostimi dlakami. Kosem bila chisto majhna so mi starši dali ime černka. Kako grda si? So ves čas govorili. Sestre mi se kar ne prej posmehujejo. Se žuželke ki me srečujejo na poti, se me ogibajo. Nobeden, nobene prijateljice nimam. Počutim se neznosno. Tako je govorila mala gosenica. Potem pa se je žalostno umaknila pod velik list, da bi tam skrila svojo bolečino. Pozabljena od se, se si je tam stekala za predek in se splazila vajn. Nekaj tednov zatem se je črnka za veliko težavo prebila i za predka na prosto. Na ve, vejici, ki se je kopila v soncu, je previdno razprostral razprostrla krilca. Zaslepile so jo čudovito bleščeče barve. Kako sem lepa, je pomislila. Postala sem čudovit metul. Ok. The title is um, <clears throat> Černka, the little caterpillar. Ok. Um, I'm a caterpillar. Nature gave me a black body and thick hair. When I was very small, my parents gave me the name Chernka. How ugly you are, they said all the time. My sisters kept making fun of me. All the insects that pass me along the way avoid me. I don't have any friends. I feel unbearable. This is how the little caterpillar spoke, and then sadly retreated under a large leaf to hide her pain there. Forgotten by all, she wove a cocoon and crept in. A few weeks later, Chernka broke through from the cocoon with great difficulty into the open air. On a twig, she bathed in the sun, and she carefully spread her wings. She was blinded by the wonderfully dazzling colors. How beautiful am I, she thought. I became a marvelous butterfly. So, the story is a little um, upsetting. I mean, what kind of parents call their child ugly? That's just, you, that's terrible. Um, I can understand sisters making fun of, you know, sisters. That, that happened to me, and I'm sure, uh, I don't know how much I made fun of my sisters. Probably a little bit. But, uh, I mean, man... You just, you uh, can't pick your family, you know? <laughs> but um, it, it's a uh, story then that kind of, to me, addresses um, how much value gets placed on external features, um, how, you know, extending this to our society, how beauty is something that is glorified so much for women especially. Um, and, you know... I'm guilty of doing this too. I've got four beautiful nieces that I do call them beautiful, but I'm always trying to counteract that with giving them compliments about themselves um, and putting emphasis on other achievements that they do. Um, that way they're not just thinking <clears throat> their self-worth is all about their external appearance. But of course, when they put on the effort or put in the effort and, you know, they dress nice and, you know, do their hair nice, of course, you know, it's hard not to tell them they're beautiful. Plus, I'm a little biased. They're my nieces, but they are gorgeous. Um, but anyway, uh, so I just kind of hope that there's a message put out there that the outer beauty is not everything. 
So let's try to uh, encourage our young ladies to be aware of their inner beauty as well. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story, and uh, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you again next time.